Team handball is still a pretty obscure sport in the U.S. I've heard it said before, I didn't make this up, but someone said it's the most American sport that Americans have never heard of. When Drew Donlin graduated from Wyzetta High School in 2011, he didn't know much about team handball either. Donlin was a freshman at the United States Air Force Academy when he stumbled into handball. At the academy, everybody has to play a sport, whether it's intramural or var all the way to varsity. So club sports are really popular because you get a lot of guys who are varsity athletes and stuff. Yeah, so I started playing, went down. I looked up the list of clubs and I was like, what's that? I think I've played that in gym class. So I like looked up some YouTube videos. I was like, oh, I could probably do that. Donlin is proving to be a quick study. He excelled at Air Force and also benefited from a late growth spurt. He's now six foot seven and nearly 250 pounds. The added size is beneficial at the pivot position, which is akin to the center in basketball. Donlin is a member of Team USA for both the indoor and beach teams. And in 2018, he was selected to the Air Force World Class Athlete Program a special honor that allows Donlin to train full-time and play professionally in Europe. I wasn't sure if I'd get picked up. I knew a few guys that had done it in the past, and it's kind of like this dream assignment in the Air Force where they let you be an athlete for a couple of years. So, yeah, when it happened, it was awesome. and I had a lot of support from my commanders in my first job who kind of vouched for me and wrote recommendations and things like that. Um, so it was kind of a team effort. Donlin was a three-sport guy in high school, though never an impact player. Still, Donlin believes his athletic ascent started at Wyzetta. That's a huge part of kind of my story is my time at Wyzetta because I was a third-string quarterback my whole time. I got to play on some great teams and a great program. So a lot of the lessons I learned here from Coach A and RJ and all the coaches here really helped me a lot, um, not just in my athletic career, but at my time at the Air Force Academy. I think I was really well prepared from, you know, learning to not be the best guy, you know, in your field because a lot of guys show up to the academy, they're all everything from their towns, and I'd kind of experienced that a little bit of adversity through my sporting time here, but still being involved and knowing what it takes to be a part of a great organization like the sport the athletic program here at Wyzetta. So I'm definitely thankful for my time here uh, beyond just the state championships I got to be a part of just, you know, and I know I wasn't a star player, but I definitely learned a lot and built a lot of good relationships here. USA didn't qualify for the 2021 Olympics in team handball, but Donlin is optimistic as he looks ahead to the 2024 games. We're on the right track. Um, we had a new, new leadership within the organization just over the past two years, new national team coach who's um, kind of an Olympic legend. He's a Swedish guy who's got two silver medals. And so he's really helping us get a lot more players placed over in Europe like me. You know, we've got a good core group of players on the national team that are dual citizens that grew up in Europe. And so they've got the skills and experience. But I think the true test will be getting more American, like true Americans kind of like me over there and playing for top clubs in Europe. But we we're, we're definitely are encouraged and optimistic about the future. Drew Donlin says his sister Colleen is the real athlete of the family. At Wyzetta, Colleen was a record-setting swimmer and a member of three state title winning teams. But her big brother is proving to have some athletic chops as well. Jason Malillo, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.